doing. With the current grass pass, as early as buying in-game loot with purpose is $100 more expensive than with fiat. No, gas prices are not $100, right? No way, right? I'm actually even surprised that, you know, that it's... The GME drop. <laughs> that tanked quickly. Feels so bad, man, guys. I was going to the chat and ban request, but I was made aware that I should ask just in case. What do you mean? Ask what? I don't care so much about... I don't mind so much people getting unbanned. Yeah, I really don't care so much about it. I will do a mass and ban anyway once the game out is out. Because people that are banned in the game uh, on a theme are rare trust, per my rare trust in the, in well, as long they're banned, they're rare trust in Clash of Streamers. And uh, yeah, it's a bit too harsh, too harsh of a punishment. Gimme. I like to stream less. If I don't have so much to stream, I like it. And and I don't really like the idea of doing real talk because it really, it really, I feel like it, it really triggers people like crazy. I'm investing 5k euro into purpose. How much do you guess it will get end of the year? Also, what if the price of ether sinks like Titanic and purpose also for no purpose is tied to the to the dollar, not to Ethereum. And 5k, yeah. Well, I have no fucking clue, man. Purpose is really stable as fuck. I'm surprised that well, it's gonna blow up. It's gonna blow up once the game is out. It's gonna blow up. Maybe even before the game is out. Purpose is so nice. How many people saved themselves so much fucking money with purpose and even made? Yes, but like purpose is constantly uh, readjusting the price based on what the price is of either. It's constantly readjusting. That's how it works. So yeah. I wonder who's actually at what at what price would you guys sell purpose? Yeah. I see. If I make a buy order for purpose for one ether, for example, and Ethereum goes up in price, does the buy order adjust itself? No, it doesn't. I mean, if you do a buy order for 300 purpose, well, it just becomes more attractive to sell. Because if ether goes up, then you're basically paying more for your purpose. But I'm not really pumping purpose though. I'm not pumping purpose at all. Like, 
I just tell people, you know, like, you get it before it's too late, but that's it. I'm not trying to get you guys to get more purpose. Oh, after the game is out, it's going to be fucking GG. No, I see actually Eater go down like crazy, by the way. I actually see Ether go down like crazy. Same with Bitcoin. Yeah. Seems too expensive to use purpose for microtransactions. Like Ether is complete dog shit. Their transactions is just too expensive. That currency is just complete dog. They have to fix the transaction cost or it's just gonna flop. How are people playing the game get into exchanging stuff on DBX? If you export stuff in the blockchain, uh, if you export heroes, you get Ether sent to your uh, wallet. So you don't even need to go to uh, Coinbase or anything. And then you can just sell your, your, your exported hero for even more Ether. And there it snowballs. Yeah, heard Cardano will allow alt creation. I don't even know what that is. Why not use layer two solutions? Um, because layer two solutions are centralized. Will COS hit top chart this year? Mm. I don't know. Our top charts, uh, top 100 for sure, I think, almost certainly. I think we will be top 100 grossing already the first few months. The top 100 grossing is not that impressive. It becomes impressive if it's top 20. That's when, or top 50. Top 100 is actually easy to get. I think we will have top 100 in the, in the, in the first few months. I get nothing, Matlow. I don't make any money out of it. Reese is getting cash. I'm not getting anything. Where can people even get purpose? On DBX, there is videos and huh? people can link them and huh? there is videos. Uh, and there's also, we have our own exchange. What I find really crazy is really like purpose is by far, by far the most promising crypto in the world right now by far not even close there is no close second none and uh the the, the crazy thing is it's like once yeah once once everything is gonna but yeah once everything is gonna start snowballing people will go like fuck fuck but this is not pumping man I'm just talking about like fucking a team of 60 people, a game that is about to launch, that it has full blockchain integration. It's absolutely bananas. There is nothing like this. But you know what the problem is, right? The problem is we live in a society, right? Where the intersubjectivity has defined everything. People believe more in GME for 
uh, troll uh, uh, stonk stonk and then they, they drops from 400 to fucking 90 because it just has no backbone and then like like purpose and doobie like has insane backbone insane backbone but i don't promote it so yeah it's like people are not aware of it but once it's gonna man people are gonna jump on it like crazy it's gonna be crazy Jeff Bezos to step down from Amazon. Is that true? No way. Why? To focus on his space project, I think. I see. I can't believe we have the chance to talk to a future billionaire before he's unreachable. Monkey, I know that you're saying this with a with a smile, but it's actually true. Holy shit. I wonder, I think Amazon stock will really go down like crazy, right? Yeah, probably. Amazon stock is going to go down. Yeah, they will be okay for sure. They will be okay for sure. I think do you believe space exploration is worth it? I think it's a fucking joke, space exploration. The only good thing that came out of it is Starlink. I mean, of course, also GPS and stuff, but like, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about like Elon going cray cray and, 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 and Jeff Bezos going cray cray about, about space. And I don't fucking know, like, it's just, man, man, it's just like they watch too much fucking Battlestar Galactica or something. And they just go like, yeah, sci-fi. Yeah. Yeah. It's just space. Yeah. Space, space. Yeah. 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 Spaceship, Star Wars. Whoa. Man, this planet is a fucking shithole. Fix that first. <laughs> they want to mine the asteroids. Um... When is that mining even going to start? That's in 20, 30 years, right? I disagree about this. The world, it will always be a shithole. We always find something to fix if we go that route. We just go to Mars regardless. It will never be a good time otherwise. Man, singularity, bro. Singularity will make all these things uh, absolute. We like people that think all oh, Mars and traveling to space think extremely, extremely narrow. It's very short, short minded. It's like if you can literally be on Mars, right? Just through simulation or whatever, then why the fuck do you even need to go to Mars? It just doesn't, there is so little to gain. Like, and if we merge with technology and we just, you know, become five dimensional, all this shit 
just becomes irrelevant. Singularity feels way more uncertain than space exploration. I don't know if that's true. I think singularity is just more vague to the to the to the to the plebs, and space exploration sounds really like cool. And since intersubjectivity defines the 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 stock market and everything, it's just proper good PR to just go like ye yeah, ye yeah, explore space, ye yeah, spaceships. Bill Gates is doing a much better job. But yeah. Bill Gates is not pumping his stock to the fucking moon. I mean, like Elon Musk approach is quite smart. I mean, people just overvalue his shit like fucking crazy. I think last question about purpose. If you say Ether is going to sink crazy and purpose will rise. If I buy now Ether to exchange for purpose, later purpose will lose value since it is bound to Ether. No, it's bound to the dollar. It constantly gets readjusted. Oh. Yeah, Bill Gates is pumping vaccines that cause infertility in Africa. Come on, L, take that fucking... This is not fucking Twitch chat. With your bullshit conspiracy garbage, you get insta-banned then when you say shit like that on, on the after party. I'm just saying. So be careful with that kind of fucking bigot bullshit. This is not fucking Twitch. So be careful. Can't spread that bullshit here. Fucking unbelievable, man. I'm just saying, be careful what you say or you get insta-banned and then you're going to cry for an unban. Yashik is currently writing on his notepad talking chic and thinking about that makes me lol. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but like, like misinformation to the max is just, it's so, it's so bad for this world, man. When people say fucking crazy shit like that, there's actually people eating that shit up. The bigger the lie, the more people just eat it up. It's just bananas. Well, if the dollar fails yet, yeah, then purpose fails as well. But like, I mean, <laughs> but is is the dollar really going so much more down relative to what? Let me actually have a quick look. Dollar euro. Come on, seriously, guys, it's almost no difference. Will you use COS revenue to put the buy wallet at 50 ducks when we release RN1? You guys will see what happens, man. You guys will see what happens. Just get yourself some sweet ass purpose. That's all I can say. You're stacked balls deep in, since three years and how much did you make so far? RN1. How much?
initially 4x not the dollar went down so it's 3x so do you regret it or are you happy it's good it's good 3x is good yeah you haven't made money before you sell though there's people that sold from almost a hundred thousand dollars bro do you see the fucking volume there's actually idiots selling right now while fucking the game is about to go out how can you be such a fucking moron let me actually have a look here there's literally like there's people that sold for like ten thousand dollars and then before there was a guy that sold eighty thousand dollars worth of purpose i think i really think they will just cry man i would it would really make me like honestly it would make me depressed it would make me really depressed if i sell and then suddenly it gets 10 20 x higher i like and 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 i have to do a job i would i would really be depressed it would fuck with me so badly i don't have any purpose well i'm the one that create creates purpose i can just mint a billion or a trillion but i'm not allowed to sell it because of uh legal reasons but i'm really the best person to have purpose man to to be the one that you know in the meantime because what i want to do in the future is i want code to regulate it all i don't want to be the middleman Now nah, you're going to end up being the next Satoshi. Actually, that's true, Sabar Abba. You're saying that, but this is really true. The only difference is they, they didn't know who Satoshi was. They know who Athene is, and that's really a big problem. I already discussed this internally. It's really going to be a clusterfuck. I'm going to have to find ways to, you know, I'm literally going to be the richest person on the planet. Even though I'm the poorest chump as well, but hey. Like, uh, yeah. Ah, going dark, going dark. I just want code to sort out purpose so I don't have to worry about shit. But yeah. Do you think the buy wall and the sell wall could be legally a problem even if you don't guarantee them? Could be seen as market manipulation. Nah. It's actually, you know that the buy wall is already something that happens in uh, in stocks. Like even fucking Elon Musk said it. He said, I'm buying all stocks for 420. Or what was it? Like you can perfectly uh, tell people I'm going to, you know, buy stocks at that price. It's 100% uh, fine. Can you give me one mil if you have one trill? Get yourself purpose and you're going to get, you know, going to get it by yourself. Non-legally binding. But since with the European laws, the thing with Wall Street bets users did it also market manipulation. Did they? I have no clue. Let me ask you guys. Um, is there any one of you guys gonna apply to come over here nobody no, but do we actually even need people we don't really need people i don't think you'd accept me lul well as long as you don't eat meat i'm already very cool you know if you go like yeah give me my steak i'm not mentally ready for a shift like that You know, with that mentality, you're not going to make a lot of uh, important decisions in your life. Sometimes you just got to, you know, throw yourself into and see how it goes. Being mentally ready is a big uh, mental blockade. A lot of people here 
thought they weren't ready and they worked out really nice and grew like crazy. A month, not three months. For now, three months, we, ah, but man, the game is coming out too soon. Maybe three months, maybe practical stuff. If you come over for three months, practical stuff. If you pay my gas fees, maybe I'll apply your gas fees. You what? How much purpose should I get to provide security for my family for the future? Uh, calculate it. Yeah, calculate it. Purpose is really going to go cray cray. But what I find, what I find really, what I find really crazy, right? It's like, if you check out the roadmap, did anyone, does anyone understand the math behind purpose and doobie? Does anyone actually understand it? So do people, but because if you understand the math, it's absolutely bananas. The only question is why no one else does it because they didn't figure it out yet. Once purpose becomes big, I really see fucking Bitcoin starting to do it. So RN1, what was your conclusion? I just don't know how the price cannot pass 2,500 if the levels are infinite because it becomes exponentially harder. I mean, it's just becoming harder and harder. Is it $40 for a transaction? Well, then you got to spend like, uh, got to get yourself a 10K purpose or something. The more purpose you get, the better. Yeah, this, this, that fee is just ridiculous. I mean, oh, like Ether is just dog, dog shit. Mm. If I could go back in time, but yet yeah, and again, We need to have, be built on Ether because Ether is, is accepted and all ERC tokens is accepted on iOS. If we had our own crypto, I don't think we would be allowed to be on the iOS store. Maybe they changed that. But if we can be on iOS and Android with our own token, I would even fucking consider just having my own token, man, because fuck this Ether uh, gas prices. It's just ridiculous. Will there be a DubiX app? There is already a, ah, an app. No, no, there, it's already made mobile friendly though. When will DubiX work on iOS? I don't know if it will work on iOS. Because MetaMask, right? MetaMask, I heard MetaMask is bugged as fuck on iOS. MetaMask works on iOS? You sure? Don't just say like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You fucking sure? Since when is it working? Because a few weeks ago, I discussed it with someone here and he said it's terrible. It, 
it's really glitchy as fuck. Where's the best place to get purpose? Dubix, Dubix. The back end is shit for sure, man. Dubix. That's where you get yourself sweet, sweet purpose. I had already devs on DBX to make it MetaMask compatible, but I was told that it wasn't working, that it just didn't work. Are you guys getting paid to promote this or to promote what? And it's also our exchange. <laughs> Get fucked when they empty the pool. You gotta look into the math, Mr. DX log. I send you the check a thing. You send me the check what? Ah, to promote crypto, yeah. Why isn't it easier to own purpose? It's too complicated for me, the average. Should have donated back in the days. Everybody that donated really a few years ago, easy, was easy peasy. The problem with donations is chargebacks, of course. Huh? It's fucking chargebacks. But you know, you might say like a thing, it's really hard to get purpose. It's much harder to do a nine to five job for the rest of your life. Yeah, forking purpose now would cost us a, a lot of money. It would actually cost us uh, 50k or something. That's actually quite crazy. What they say, if purpose, like this is actually quite crazy. 10K purpose is 30K, right? But if purpose gets 100 bucks, then you literally get yearly 40K. That's just insane to think about that. That's actually quite mind blowing. That's quite mind blowing to think about. How many users can you get for your game in the first couple of months? I'm almost certain that I will get, well, it depends. Like the citizen one, it really depends on our strategy. If we go really big launch at the start, then 100K the first day, 100K the second day, almost guaranteed with ads. Um, first month, at least a million users, at least a million. Which is crazy, by the way. Just so you guys know, it's it's fucking, yeah.
Among Us went from one soda stream to worldwide, but we're not going to be like amongst us. But yeah. Do you have the server power to control that many users? Yeah, 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 man. Like we have actually been doing stress testing. The reason why we're burning $50,000 a month, right? Is because we've been doing stress testing. And uh, we can literally, uh, we can scale infinitely. We can literally have 10 billion users and it would work. You might say like how AWS for the win. AWS for the win. Well, 10 billion, I'm just, you know, it's, it's, it's a, it can infinitely scale. What if Amazon decides to fuck you over? Come on, man. Like that is really, I need to be a terrorist organization for that to happen. Does uh, Soda still have uh, videos to watch? But I think what so does Soda sometimes watch videos that come on YouTube? Does he do reacts or he doesn't do that? Rarely. I do. I do think there's a good chance he will react on my doku. I actually think he will react on my doku. He will watch my doku. I think. And and same I think as Mongold. The, the Clash of Streamers is a very very child friendly game. Kids will eat that shit up. Like February is still looking good. Like I I talked to uh, uh, to Ricardo today and it's still looking good. In a few weeks. If his prediction is right in a few weeks, we, we can just have the beta. So we'll see yeah, if in a few weeks we have the beta or not. Huh? So far, his predictions have been quite accurate, so can't complain. No, no, the idea is to release this month or early next month. The, the game has real opponents in blackjack and poker. When you go more than rare stake, these are real players. Okay. Uh, well, if nobody's playing it, then it gets replaced with NPCs. But as soon as people start playing, it automatically replaces the NPCs with real players. The build you guys have is really old, yeah. There's a guy on Wall Street Bits that lost 13 million on GME today. Is that the guy that is balls deep, you know? The value guy, is that him? Everybody's shearing him. How much could he have cashed out if he would have cashed out everything? Man, that's insane. Either way. People that want to try out the game, here's the link. People that want to apply, there is the link. And uh, yeah, there is the purpose and the doobie. Uh, and the doobie X, uh, get yourself some sweet ass purpose. It's 11 o'clock. Really look into it. You won't regret it. It's a big fucking deal. Keep it up, guys. See you guys tomorrow, I think. Tomorrow, yeah. I hope I can do trees tomorrow. Peace out.